Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at some mystery minis, retro video game mystery minis sent to us by Funko. Thanks Funko. We got my friend Paul here and Hi. he's a huge video game fan so he's the perfect person to review these with. I, I like them a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. So the cool thing about these mystery minis is that the boxes for each one are themed to their game. So they're a little less mystery than... Yeah, you don't, you don't like, you're not gonna, if you don't like Dig Dug, you're not gonna pick a Dig Dug box, and you're not gonna get a Dig Dug guy. Yeah, so you, so, don't, you don't know if you're getting Pac-Man or a Pac-Ghost or whatever, but you know you're getting a character from that game. Yeah, which I think is really cool, and they're little arcade machines, which, I mean, I'm gonna keep a couple of them and, you know, put them on yeah, the shelf. The box is pretty sweet that they did this. Yeah. We saw these at Toy Fair, you can check out that video if you are interested in the other Funko products, but we were just really excited when we saw these there. So you want to open the first one? Yeah, sure. Pick oh. your game. Qbert. Qbert. I had Qbert for the Apple IIe when I was a kid. Qbert <laughs> and Pac-Man. Please play with my little joystick on my computer. I had it for the uh, NES, of course. Black and green monitor. Oh man. That's awesome. That must have been. Alright, so like, I don't want to... I think you can tear the bottoms open, maybe? And then just kind of re-glue it or something? Without destroying it? But maybe the side of like there's a way, yeah. Is there a flap somewhere? So, I only need oh, one. Oh, okay, mine came open really easy. Yeah, mine came up. So maybe that's what they're figuring, though. You'll just get it from the bottom. I'm only worried about... Oh, and look, they make it so you can... It's, it's retab. Retab. Oh, okay. Funko, nice job. Yeah, really smart. Actually, this uh, this hook thing is just like an NES box. So that's kind of cool. All right, who do we get? Um, I'm thinking I got Snake. Pre-torn? Okay. <laughs> I got Doug. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. So we got, I think his name is just Snake. Oh, Coily, of course. He's the super cool snake that annoys you in Qbert. It's pretty well put together. Good paint. I like him. So. I got Dig Dug. Dig Dug fame. He looks a lot like a, like a Mega Man reject. He does, yeah. yeah. He's like Mega Man's cousin that nobody talks about. <laughs> All right, you gonna open the next one? Sure, let's do Mega Man. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Mega Man. It's interesting he was the only character they did from that game. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that they're testing it out and yeah. Wave 2 they're gonna be like, oh, well, we need more Mega Man. Because what were you gonna do, more Pac-Man? You kind of pretty much have everybody already in this wave. I guess they're missing one ghost. They're missing two ghosts. Two ghosts. And uh, you could always do the blue ghost like they did right. with, the, uh, with the... Some of the games, line. like Frogger, there's just not much to do. Yeah, like, what are you going to do, a uh, car? <laughs> oh, that's right, they have the full tab. Where is that? I love that it has that retro cabinet art on it. And this Pac-Man one. What a surprise, it's Pac-Man. You mean Mega Man? Oh, it's Mega Man. <laughs> it's Pac-Mega Man. All right, we got Mega Man here. You know me, I always have Pac-Man on the brain. Pac-Man on the brain. All right, I'm going to open another Dig Dug one. Oh, we're going to get the whole wave. I've seen a lot of cool mystery minis lately. They, they just did a series of X-Men ones that are like the retro costumes. Oh, that I thought were like really cool. 90s retro or 80s no, retro? No, like, like 70s. Like, like oh. when Wolverine joined the team. Okay. You know, uh, X-Men giant size number one era costumes. Okay. Which is kind of cool. First appearances of a lot of those. Characters. I'd love to see a uh, 90s cartoon. Yeah, if they, did, if they did Jim Lee style uniforms, yeah. I'd, I'd have to buy them all. You need that yellow Wolverine. Yellow Wolverine. And Cyclops with the the Y-shaped uh, bandolier. Yeah. I got the dragon. What's the dragon's name? Dragon. Dragon? It's, uh, no, it's Figar. Figar. He's a Figar. He's a really cool looking figure. Yeah. No articulation, even though he kind of seems yeah, like he would. Mega Man's head looked like he would move. They there just must be made out of multiple pieces. But he's a huge mystery mini in great detail. I really like him. He's hefty. All right. Well, we've gone this long without any Pac-Man, so you know, you know me and Pac-Man. I gotta get Pac-Man it up. Gotta get some Pac-Man in here. All right, let's see. We're gonna get Miss Pac-Man, or are we gonna get a ghost? So that's what I think. I think there's a ghost and a Pac-Man, and the Miss Pac-Man and the Pac-Man. Okay. Thinking, uh, ooh, I'm thinking we got Miss Pac-Man. All right. It's yellow. I see heels. <laughs> All right, we got a Miss Pac-Man. Kind of rubbery, but the paint is awesome. She will look good on my shelf with all my others of 
tons and tons of Pac-Man things. I like that she's truly round. The pop yeah. vinyl was more like squared off a little bit. So oh. I like that she has that true <laughs> that true round shape. We're gonna do the comparisons later. You know, ever since that Adam Sandler movie, everybody wants a Q-Bart action figure. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. His big nose. I'm a huge fan of Q-Bert in the arcade. I was in uh, New York at Barcade not uh, long ago when we were there for an event. And uh, I was playing the Q-Bert machine and I kept getting fourth highest score. Oh. Um, like I would beat fourth place, I beat fourth place, and then I would beat my fourth place score, and then I beat my fourth place score again. And I just kept beating myself by a little bit, but I couldn't get the third place. You just fill in the bottom yeah. of the board with you? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was pretty frustrated. You can ask Kristen about it. That's great. Alright, let's see. So this is probably a ghost, based on my thoughts. Alright, it is a ghost, and this should be... Miss Pac-Man Ghost. No, this is Pinky or Sue, depending on which naming uh, scheme. Yeah, which naming scheme you're going with. So I've got the Frogger box here, and Frogger. I, I never played Frogger as a kid, but Frogger's a good game. It, it is a good game, and I've played it since then. But my favorite thing about Frogger is the Seinfeld episode. Oh yeah. Where George has the high score, and yes. they got to try and move it across the street. It's so funny. I just want to know how they got that extension cord plugged in without unplugging it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever know. A little plot hole in that episode, but that was a great episode. Alright. So you think you could open it from the front without tearing it? Yeah. It seems like it's just easy to do it from the bottom. Though. It is easier to do it from There's the no bottom. There's no risk. There's no risk of damaging anything important. Drop it almost blue, we'll seal it back up. Oh, my pack man a little sunk in on the side here. It's sunk sad. In. He's got it's a, a frog. little briefcase. <laughs> well, he's going to work. Burr, burr, burr. Splat. Alright, I'm going to open Pac-Man box number one. And it does have the exact Pac-Man arcade machine art. Because, like, Frogger, that art is not... This is not the official art? It's close. Okay. But it's not, like... It's not exact. Alright, we got um, Blinky. He looks like an angry ghost. But he's a cool ghost. Actually, he should go on. I'll do it. All right, I got the last uh, Dig Dug box here. I, I guess I'm gonna get Puka. Puka? Puka. I remember playing Dig Dug on my friend's Atari at his house. There he is with his goggles. Can't be safe without safety glasses. He's nice and round too. Yeah. He's got a little foot on the back. From the game or just help him? I think that's to help him stand up so it doesn't fall over. Yeah. And roll away. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna do centipede. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. <laughs> pretty sure it's centipede. Alright, let's see here. Open this. Pull this out. Let's see. The one thing that's cool takes away from that, there's no like rare ones. Yeah, but it... Does Mystery Mini not do that? No. And okay. I, so it's a good and a bad thing. Yeah. It, it takes away the fun of getting the rare, but it also alleviates the, like, annoyance of buying... 20, packs 30 packs of them, yeah. Packs. So this is really cool. They did a really good job with this guy. He's got his multiple arms. He looks... Not menacing. happy. Yeah, menacing. That's a good word. Oh, man. He's not so happy. I like knocked everybody like, over. Mega Man died. Oh, man. Mega Man's done. All right, there we go. Oh, and I noticed if you fold this flap in first, okay, then you fold these flaps, and then you fold this one in oh, here. Oh, then you don't down. even have to. Glue I'll it. give you the honor of opening the last one. All right, this is gonna be my boy Pac-Man. Well, we'll hope so. What's we'll a packaging error? Yeah. <laughs> I have a Pac-Man on my wrist because I really like Pac-Man. All right, it is Pac-Man, the one, the only, the man, Pac-Man. Awesome. Right. 
And this is a great, great wave of figures. If you, I, I was so excited when we saw these at Toy Fair. This is really perfect for for our generation. I don't know if the younger kids are going to be as into these as maybe some of the other ones uh, of the mystery minis. You know, they tend to do, they te they seem to do something that's catered towards the younger kids, like like Beauty and the Beast or Disney Princess, and then they do something that caters to a little bit older, older collector, like those retro X Men or or these video games. Yeah. So it's it's nice that they're kind of keeping keeping an eye on everybody. It's a really cool line. Um, and like we mentioned before we shot this, we are going to do some comparisons. Um, so we have, because Funko sent them to us, the uh, Funko Pop Ghosts. So I just wanted to show some comparisons here. Similar, a little different in color, same face to the Miss Pac-Man. Like you were saying, they're round in this wave, which is cool. They're kind of square. To meet the Funko aesthetic, the pop yeah, aesthetic, they have I guess. That, that pop head shape. Yeah. You know, that's this definitely looks block. more like Miss Pac Man than the pop, but still cool. We got Pac Man, kind of the same thing. Same. Oh, this Pac Man's winking, this one's not. Both thumbs up. Pretty cool. And then Pinky or Sue. Oh. Very different in color. Very different in color, very different facial expressions. This one's like, ah, I'm gonna get you. This one's like, what's up, dude? Well, I like that this pinky has more of the, the, the more accurate eyes. It's not, not limited to the, the pop black yeah. eyes. It has more of that cartoon vibe to it. So that's so cool. All right. Well, thanks right. for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe in the comments down below. Let us know if you're going to pick up any of these mystery minis. And let us know which one was your favorite. All right. Check out our other videos. Thanks, Funko.